Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer bringing you guys another episode of the Pokemon Moon Let's Play and today we are back about to actually see the Pokemon Research Lab, whatever else may lie in that town up ahead. I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm excited to just explore and wow, look at this. This is like me right now. Like whatever this guy's doing right now, he's like, you know, he's like, like he, this guy right here. He's ready. He's ready for some serious shit that's about to go down. Like, that's me right now, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. With that, I mean, hey, we got a battle coming up. You know, hey, let's uh, let's get comfy cozy here. We got Picky Peck. We got Litten. Team's looking pretty pretty lit, if you know what I'm saying. Team's looking pretty lit. So, I mean, look at this. Look at this. You ready for this? Boom. Boom. Just like that. We got this guy. Kneecaps. What do you mean, kneecaps? What the hell he about to do? See, I got the backwards snapback right now, the backwards hat, you know, that means shit's about to go down. That means that I'm ready for this, like, more than ever. It's about to go down for real. We got Grubbin, that is the bug-type Pokemon, right? So that is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. I don't know. New Pokemon! New Pokemon. I actually might use that, to be honest, because, um, that's like Vicavolt, right? Or whatever that Pokemon is. I don't know, but it's really cool. With that being said, hey, I want to make a quick little mini announcement for this series. I think I'm going to be breaking this down a little bit different uh, for the rest of the series. I mean, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You know, let me change it up. But I think what I'm going to do is actually do like really long recording sessions, like play the game for like an hour, two hours or something like that, and put it all in like one recording, and then I'll chop it up into episodes. So for like the next like few episodes, there won't be like an intro for the video. It'll just like It'll end at a certain point. So here you can see the care thing comes up again. I'm not going to do that every time, but it's interesting that that comes up. It's very intriguing. We got Echo Device, which is cool. But yeah, so then I'm more in control of how long the episodes can be. So, like, there's no way that the episode can, like, you know, accidentally, you know, go too long in an episode. So either way, I'm going to do that from now on. And, you know, yeah, that's about that. Just the episodes will be kind of, like, strung together. I think that that'll be the best for episode length and just the best experience for you guys. With that being said, hey, let's just keep on exploring. It allows me to be a little more flexible with what I do and play a little bit more leisurely and give you guys better length episodes. So, with that being said, this person's like, yo, Alola. That is an introduction. You know, it's like saying hello in this game. Aloha. So, that was from the demo that I learned that. I don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? I don't know. With that, we got a Wingle. I guess that's uh, not too surprising to see here. Uh, I mean... You know, looking at it, wow, our team is actually, uh, we got them both at the same level rate, which is pretty cool, actually. I don't mind that. Do not mind that at all. And actually, yeah, we have Echoed Voice now. I gotta check how much damage that does. I forgot, forget how much damage that does exactly, but yeah, I keep on thinking that this thing is partially fire, because it has the red on it, and like, it reminds me, it really does remind me a lot of, uh, Fletchling, believe it or not. I don't know why, but it does. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Growl. Okay, that's actually perfect. Because one more hit and it would have killed us. So we should be fine just going for another peck here. And just take it on out, man. Take it on out. Beautiful. You know, I'm used to speeding up the game. I've been playing a lot of games where I could use the speed up button on, like, an emulator to speed it up. But, you know, honestly, like, I'm okay with it in this game. Like, it's... Everything is, like, so fluid and just nice and just... It all works. It all works really nice together. Honestly, it really does. So, I mean, yeah. With that being said, what do I want to do? I want to do something. I want to check out Echo Voice, and I'll probably switch out because Picky Peck has a little bit of damage done in it. And it's it's a good level, so we're good right now. So, Echo Voice does more damage, but but only a little bit. Yeah, it's not worth it because our, our physical attack... You can see the... After a few levels now, you can really see that physical and special attack kind of split off for Picky Peck. So, I think that that would go ahead and... Uh, that would carry on throughout its evolutions, but you never know. You never know, you know? You know, you never know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, alright, look at that. Look at that water. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff right there. Like I said, Pokeballs also look pretty cool. I don't know, I'm just... Uh, with me in the Pokemon games, a lot of my reasoning for liking things in the Pokemon games uh, is very aesthetic. I'm a very visual person in that sense, like... I'm not fully into the whole battling thing. I'm not a very competitive person on the Pokemon scene. Alright. Alright, Kakui, is this the research lab? This looks much more, this looks like a freaking rundown shack. Oh yeah, Rock Grove, let's go! Give it everything you got, my body is ready! There they go again, what do you mean again? What are they doing? What are they doing in there? The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. Yeah! Yeah! A lot more rundown than I thought it would be. 
Uh, I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I could do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe uh, I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer. There's some real kinky shit, man. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Okay. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. <laughs> and I have just, uh, I just washed his lab coat and finally got it clean too. Oh, that's gross. Now it'll be in shreds and I'm no good at mending clothes. So he'll just have to buy another new one. Well, all right. He's more of a character than I thought he was. We should probably go in before he does more damage. Yeah. Damn. Intense. Snubble! Oh, what's that? The mm, I forget the name of that one. There's an aquarium thingy! Fish tank! Ah, whatever that is! There's a love disc and a corsola! Look at it! That's so cool! Hey there, Josh! Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Alright, alright, alright. Yo, it's so cool! Uh, of course, however, how... However, I can be a help. I'm, I, I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Blah, words. Rockruff's moves were just so styling and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Josh, let me check your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Go for it. Go for it. So, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I uh, called you here. Uh, uh, here, finally arrived. What is it? It. What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your uh, Pokedex called Rotom. Cool. I knew that. <laughs> oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up resonance in machines, which is very cool. Yeah, buddy. And it's uh, to, to pull to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work. Wow, I am really butchering the dialogue. I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into its body specially developed for it. Boom. That is really cool. That is really, really cool. And now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that just got in... Can you Rotom it up? Yo, Rotom! That's Rotom right there. Look at that! Wow, look at that. Sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. That is dope as fuck. Here, I powered up your favorite Dex. Give Josh here a helping hand, right? Yeah? We good to go? Wow, he peeled. That is super duper cool. Yo, what's good? Nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? <laughs> All right. Very cool. Look at that. Look at the map we got on the bottom screen. See, Josh, now Rome can talk uh, talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rome has taken a liking to you. Wow, very nice. Hasn't been here a little too long. So I decided to get him the special Rome deck to help him navigate around. Awesome. Thank you for that. You can see where you're headed just by looking at the room, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Very cool. That is very, very cool. Alright, we got How here. We're gonna battle again. Alola! Alola! The salty breeze sang me, <laughs> sang to me and brought me here to you. Well, okay. Whoa, oh, ow! Yeah, all the pokes. All the pokes are here. Is that a loft? That's awesome. Honestly, this place looks really nice considering like how fucking beat up and shitty it looks on the outside. Give him credit, you know? It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. Where are they hiding up there? If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Josh? How? Yeah, sure. And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Josh, I'm leaving this Rome Dex in your hands. Rome, you look after Josh, yeah? So, that's the Rome Dex. Eh? It's kind of cute. All right, there. I hate reading dialogue for like strands. It's just like can't handle it, man. Too much reading. All right, there's some important things you need to know about this island challenge. All right, now we're actually getting to the important stuff. This is the good stuff, the gravy. The island challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the island challenge champion. So that's that's our title if we win. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. Josh, I want you and Litten to get, get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in their very first battle. I think you must have talent for drawing out Pokemon's strengths. Are there seven each island, or like what? 
Oh yeah, as someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everybody on the Island Challenge get, uh, yeah, Island Challenge, fuck, gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Great. <clears throat> All right, word. Let's do it. I don't know how many there are, because he said seven. I don't know if those are per islands or total. I don't know. I got one for my gramps, too. All right. All right, then, Josh, you two how? Get a move on. Can, can you repeat the thing? To the trainer school. Okay. I wanted to repeat on that, but that's okay. You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to become the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. Just like in Sinnoh, you have to go to the trainer school. Yeah, poor kid. What about you, how? I'm good, I just want to play with my Pokemon, I mean, uh, train with them, right? Yeah, yeah. The Island Challenge, this is how the people of Lola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Josh, alright? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Why? 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 If he needs help, some help, some help, some help, some help. Give me a little poke in the middle. Great. Wow. Okay. I'm curious now. Give me a little poke in the middle of the map, but not too hard. Is there a map? Wow. Very nice. Very nice. So that shows like our destination and everything, like where we're supposed to be going. Wow, this is only like the first map. Oh shit. Eh. Eh. Very good. Very good. I'm slow, so that's that's okay. Alright, let's uh let's get a move on, I guess. Or is she seriously gonna be like following us even more? Like really? Like they're gonna hold our hand with the Pokedex and then with her? Like I only need so much hand holding, goddammit. I don't want my hand to be held like that much. Alright, so they show us exactly where we're supposed to go, which I guess is kind of nice, but I don't know. I like a little bit of exploration, but that's okay. That's okay. Very nice. Hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first. Okay, so we have the Pokemart in here as well now. They moved it back after Oras. Very nice. I hear... I hear my doge. I don't know if you hear my doge. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is basic, 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 basic. Look at that! It's an actual, like, modern PC. <laughs> Not this huge... Well, I guess in X and Y they also had that, so that's fair, I guess. It looks pretty nice, though. It's very futuristic. Cafe area. Moomoo Milk. Moomoo Milk is good. It's very good. I like that. Uh, selection of drinks. Different for each one. That is cool. Very cool. All right. We good? We good? We good? We good? Come on, come on, come on, come on. We should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. You got it. You got it. Alright. Uh, when do Wonder Trades come in? Because I'm going to be doing a Wonder Lock, so like... Yeah. I've set the trainer school as our destination. Let's get this show on the road. Oh my goodness. Is it going to be like this much hand-holding? That's cool. That's cool. I like that. They show the Pokemon on the screen. That's awesome. But are they really going to do that for, like, everything? They're going to, like, hold your hand? Like, really? It's, like, it's actually a little annoying. Okay, it's cool when you tap on him, but it's, like, why? Here we are, you see, the trainer school is... It's, a uh, what in the world? Yo, are we going to get to ride Tauros? I wouldn't be against that. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to the Tauros there, but we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. Okie dokie. Or do trainers do the teaching? Oh my goodness. I feel like that Rotom is going to be a little annoying. But that's okay. That's okay. Hey there, Josh. I must have passed you two somehow, eh? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn to be a Pokemon trainer. Very nice. Professor Kakui, is this the child you told me about? Is this really going to be like extensive? Like, 
You gotta be four trainers here at the school, Josh. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Great. Yo, experience. Yes, yo! Professor the Professor Kakui coming through! Man, I am tongue-tied this episode. Holy fuck. I don't care! He's coming through with the XP share! I'll take it! I will take it. I'll run with it. Very nice. Alright. Let's go. Sorry, I, I stopped reading that dialogue because I don't care about the trainer school. She may not look all that tough, but the teach but that teach trains her kids right. Okay, great. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you found a species of Pokemon once, you can easily Wow, okay, so that's actually very good to know. That that super effective thing that we saw like for the move status that goes based off of a species so after you've wrote him really can I turn that off is there any way to turn that off not bag is there any way at all ah festival plaza beautiful that is the world of wonder trades that's very good Sophocles sorry I'm like Doing 10 things at once. I probably shouldn't do that. This is a secret place where you come to use communication features. Alright, great. Great, 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 great. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Are we doing this right now? Oh, my goodness. I came here because I heard there's a festival going on, many trainers are here, you're the host, aren't you, blah, 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 blah. I'll have a chat, sure, because they're not going to let me not do that. 2FC, I mean. Sure. Great. No, 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 Doug Deacon. All right, we're done. You crushed it. Great. Okay, I probably should read this, actually. If you respond to the request of someone who has to come to play, they'll give you festival coins as a token of their appreciation. Festival coins are sometimes called FC, so try to remember that. Great. So... Fuck! Sorry. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to unleash this. Bouncy house! Your Pokemon can train while it plays. That is, that is cool, I guess. Haunted house. You can get items if your Pokemon reaches the goal. So these are all, like minigames and stuff. That's pretty cool. The food stall, delicious food, yummy, yummy. Goody shop. Are we done? <laughs> All right. Are we done? Can we leave? Can we leave? Can we leave? Oh my god. <laughs> sure. This is cool, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm here to play the game, not this online crap. I was just looking for half a second. I'm sorry. All right, are we done though, for real now? Great, wow, look at my festival plaza level two, or rank two, whatever. Great work, great work. Can I play the game now? Thump Bump Park. Nice. Look at that. Wasn't that there already? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Alright. Good work. Good work. Can I get out of here now? Man! I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's actually, that could be useful. But like, come on, 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 come on. Come on! God damn it! That is a lot at once. Bye. How do I get out of here now? Yes, quit. Thank God. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, curiosity fucking killed the cat, right? Guess that's that. Wow, we have a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. This is the trainer passport, so that's how we're... Completely blank trainer card, I guess. 
Well, alright, there's a lot of stuff being thrown at me at once over these last few episodes. I'm kind of just discovering a little bit of it now, I guess. I mean, hey, with that being said, let's just uh, let's find some trainers. Let's do some stuff. What do you have here? That's good. Potion never, never hurts to have a potion, right? What about you? Alright, we got a battle finally. God damn it, only took forever! God damn it. Shit takes. Take forever. Yo, she had a badminton racket? Yo, I love fucking badminton, man. Badminton is a very fun sport, I gotta say. Alright, well, either we got Picky Peck. Wow, look at that. We are falling behind in the levels, guys. Falling behind slowly but surely. It's okay, though. We got the XP share, which actually, I don't know if that's turned on automatically, so we'll see the XP share probably help us out here, you know, growing the team here. I don't know why it wouldn't, you know, it's supposed to make things easier. I don't even know the difficulty of this game yet, so we'll see if it's really easy, really hard, something like that, maybe a mix, and wow, how'd that do that much damage? Why? Why? That is a load of crap, man. Thank God we have ten, wow, ten potions. That is a lot more than I... Really expect it. I guess they expect you to use them. Usually they don't, but uh, they're kind of just extra. In this case, you kind of need them. So anyway, hey, just gonna keep on rocking it, man. Wow, really doing a lot of damage. Why? All right, luckily, echoed voice doesn't do as much, so we'll be able to kill it. But like, damn, Daniel. Well, we're about to see now if the XP share was on the whole time or not. You never know. You never know. Lick. Guess we have that. <laughs> so there we go. We got the XP share on because it did say that. So that's good to know. And I guess we'll heal up again. Like, damn. That picky pack, man. Packs a little bit of a punch. Good thing that we have one. So yeah. Great items. We can use them. Thank you for sharing. Let's, uh, yeah. New items. <laughs> that's alright. This game is very elaborate in, like, all of its tutorials and modes and interfaces like just like